Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today as always it is that time of the month where we start to get the uh, either the early draft pages and then soon we get the leaks for the upcoming chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga and the upcoming chapter is Dragon Ball Super chapter 73 and the title is Goku vs. Granola so it's pretty simple it's going to be a continuation of what we saw in the uh, the previous chapter so the thing I gotta let you guys know uh, right now is this video will contain spoilers at least for the early part of the upcoming chapter so if you don't want any spoilers whatsoever just go ahead and click on the video I completely understand maybe you can come back and watch the video after the chapter's already been released so there's there's your spoiler warning and also it's gonna be kind of a quick video because there really isn't that much happening here I mean it's basically just just a fight well, not, not really a fight, it's basically just one chase scene. But anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, just get, get a look at the actual page. So this is the first page, and you can see it's a, this is a nice uh, uh, split panels between uh, the two people who are, you know, going to be, I'm guessing, mainly featured in this chapter since the, since the title of the chapter does refer to both of them. You can see Goku right there, you can see Granola right there. Uh, Granola's firing more of those uh, finger blasts at him, and Goku's dodging them. Which, if you remember from the uh, previous chapter, he's learned to stack UI properties onto his other transformations, including his base form. But it's also been made clear in the last chapter that Goku still hasn't 100% mastered this, so it's not flawless. So as you can see, Goku's dodging them, and goes for the attack, but Granola dodges. And then he then he flies away, Goku chases after them, and this is where the chase starts through this forest. Now, I'm not going to lie, having looked at them, I do like how this was drawn. I, I Seriously, I, I, I keep saying this, and I feel like I'm going to keep saying this, but you have to give Toyotaro props. He has vastly improved his art as the manga kept going forward. It's, it's way, way better than what it was before. So you can see them, they're flying through these trees, Goku fires a key blast at him. Granola dodges, and again, I, I love how this was drawn. This is absolutely beautiful from Toy Tower. So let's go ahead and move on. And unfortunately, this is the last few pages. Again, we only got like the first. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, only uh, we only have like the first seven pages. So you see, Goku continues, and now it's his turn to fire the key blast, and Granola is continuously dodging them. And you can see how he, uh, how, again, how this is drawn, how he's weaving through the trees, just absolutely beautiful and you can see he disappears here Goku's confused what happened but then here you can see what happened Granola right and again I, I love how Granola uses we, we saw this in the uh, in that sort of mini fight between the um, yeah you can see this person mentions it, mentions it right here the fight between Granola and the heaters where he utilizes that scarf and I just I, I, I love this little uh, addition to how Granola fights I just I, I really like this and you can see Goku doesn't see it gets hit and then just flies back and then uh, I, I love this is kind of this kind of sort of a spider-man move where he grabs a branch flips and then <laughs> just lands on it that that is very spider-man-esque I, I, I love it and damn you can see he really really sent 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 him flying and you know I, I I'm sure a lot of people are probably gonna say wait does this mean granola is faster than UI I mean maybe because Again, if we saw from the previous chapter, Granola, his eye, or his right eye, we know that it's, we know that he's from a race of people whose right eyes have evolved to the point where they can see, like, it, you were, they, uh, uh, how do I say this, um, where they can see, like, almost everything, at least through their right eye, and you would imagine Granola, after making that wish and becoming the strongest in the universe, his base abilities have been enhanced to an insane level, and he was already pretty accurate with his right eye already, so you can imagine how much better it got with the power up he got from the uh, the dragon, the Cerulean dragon. And he it got so accurate to the point where he said that in the previous chapter, remember, he said that he was able to predict where where he was going to move by seeing by seeing the blood flow and his muscles moving. So it's just again to, to me this is one thing that I I really like with Totoro and. Toriyama's do are, are doing because one thing again that was always my worry about Goku getting Ultra Instinct is that you know because of how much it's been built up now that Goku has Ultra Instinct instinct 
how um, like how is he going to lose realistically? And now they're telling you that he has ultra instinct. <clears throat> excuse me. Wait, just give me a second. <clears throat> Sorry, just throw a little dry. One thing that was uh, one thing that I was always worried about is. You know, uh, they're showing you that yes, Ultra Instinct is powerful, but it, but he's not, but he, it still doesn't make Goku unbeatable. Like it, it, you, you, you can still find ways to beat him even with Ultra Instinct, and that's what I that's what I like that they're doing because, again, I'm sure a lot of people were, were uh, worried that, you know, now that Goku has Ultra Instinct, like realistically he should be unbeatable considering how much has been built up. But they're telling you right now. Uh, yeah, they're. Uh, yeah, Goku is he like he can still lose. Sorry, I just ha had something to got a message on my phone. Just need to check real quick. So yeah, I mean, that's that's really all that we have. We don't really have much. Like I said, it, it was basically just a, a continuation of the fight that was started between Goku and Granola. And remember, Goku is in his blue form right now, and Granola is still winning. I I feel like. Excuse me. I feel like it might take Goku going into Silver UI, or at least uh, Ultra Instinct Omen, or Ultra Instinct Sign, whatever you want to call it, to be able to actually beat Granola. Although I don't know. I mean, I feel like it might get revealed that it would take Silver UI, Silver UI Goku, or MUI Goku again, wherever you want to call it, in order for him to actually beat him because. I, I don't know, I mean, so far Granola is, he's, Goku's throwing almost everything other than, uh, other than MUI at him, and he's just taking it, he's just continuously showing him, like, yeah, what, is, is that it? I mean, come on, I mean, you, you gotta have more. And you know what, this is something that I do like. I do like because it's showing you how credible Granola is as a fighter now. Because the fight with the heaters didn't really do much, because we didn't know how strong the heaters are. But we know how strong Goku is, and if Granola is beating him, that shows you that yeah, the the wish wasn't for for nothing. And one thing that I was kind of worried about is that they would have made the wish for um, the the wish would have been basically rendered useless because he would have fought Goku and Vegeta, and he would have just lost. And thankfully, that's not what's happening. So anyway, I'm just gonna end this video right here, guys. Like I said, there really isn't that much here uh, to show. It's just a fight and then a chase scene. Uh, let me know your thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, remember to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't, and click the bell icon for, for notifications. Thank you so much. I hope you remember to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and please join me for the next video. Bye for now.